Okay. I've taken out your much taller, scarier counterparts now. I'm not scared of you anymore. Hey everyone, I'm Dee. I am pretty new to gaming in general, though not brand new anymore, which is kind of cool. Um, and this is my very first Minecraft world. Um, we've been we've been doing some things around, and today we're gonna go back to the Nether Fortress we found a little while ago, and take on some Wither skeletons. I've packed up some fire resist and healing health potions, honey bottles, and a milk bucket in case we need to uh, take away our wither effect. As you might have noticed, I am pretty recently kitted out with some new netherite gear. Have I been putting off uh, this particular task for quite a while? Absolutely. But I did promise you guys I was going to take on another boss mob today, so we must do it, I suppose. Might as well get it out of the way right now at the beginning. And here we are. Awesome. So, as you can see, I've slabbed up some of this fortress. Now here's the thing, we need to get these guys coming after us. Okay, there we go, there we go. And in. And we do have a blaze after us as well, so that's an issue. Come here, bro. Oh, stop falling off the side. Hi. Ah! Okay, fire resist potion. Here we go, okay, okay, okay. It's definitely time for the fire resist potion. Okay. Hi, sir. At least now all we got to worry about is the skeletons themselves. <sighs> it's all good, isn't it? Got another fire resistance potion chugged. So I think... Aha! Spooky, scary skeleton. Come on, sir. Gosh, they're scary. All right. Ah! Gosh. Goodness. Hello. Hi. How are you? Yeah, let me just, yeah, take those from you. Thank you. Come on, guys. We need more skeletons. Aha! Here are a couple. Hey, guys. Hey! Yeah, yeah. Come on. Come on, this is a great little spot. I made it just for you. Really? I did. Now, I feel like I've killed about a dozen skeletons, which means that we should have had a head drop at this point, right? How nice of you to drop by. Uh, still nothing. You know what? I actually, I need that magma cube. I need some, some more magma cream so I can actually make some. Hey, Mr. Magma Cube. Hi. Come here. Come here, bro. Don't fall off the edge. Come on. Hello. Hi. Ouch. They hurt. Okay, and now my looting sword. These guys. Ouch. Come on. Thank you. Oh, <gasps> there it is, guys. My first. Yeah. I did it. And it only took three fire resist potions. Gosh. Well, at least I have some magma cream, so in a couple minutes here, I can go back and make make more fire potions. Okay, guys, seriously. Stop it. It's not cool. And here we go back again. 
You know, after playing with a uh, nether roof system, I really think that I need to set one up for myself because this whole traversing the nether thing to get places, not a big fan. All right, we need two more uh, skulls and I did leave the other one back at my base just because might as well, right? Just in case I die and lose everything. But we've learned that out here on top of the fortress is kind of our best spot to do this. So I'm just going to go ahead and drink my fire resist right now. I made six potions. So, hey, if our ratios hold up, then we should be able to get our skulls in the time we have. Hello, guys. How are you doing? Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, I was just thinking about, like, having a little house party over here. You want to come? Yeah. Okay, well, we got some coal. You know, we're getting good amounts of coal from this. Hi, dude. Yeah, yeah, come on. Come on. Come to my parlor. <gasps> there's another one. Oh, that's good luck. That's that's some awesome luck. And there's a group of them down there. Ouch. There's four of you? Oh, what good luck. Now, I'll just turn and run back. Hi. Hello. Oh, there's so many of you. Allow me to introduce you to my sword. It's a good sword. I like it. I know skulls from these guys, but that's okay. Hey, can you come, can you come, like, step down a little? There you go. There you go. No, 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 no. There. <gasps> guys! Oh my gosh! Those went so fast. Honestly, I feel like hanging around here and seeing if I can't get any more. That was all on one potion. Oh, there's another skull for me. Very nice. All right, Mr. Blaze, you're just annoying me. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I think that that is a great place to leave. Our fire resist potion ran out. I want to say that was our fourth total. And we did get one more skull out of those last three potions. My goodness. Now, we got a bunch of bones and coal from that. Like, so much. I don't know much about weather skeleton farms, but I can see those being a great source of coal, especially. Quick little update on our villagers here. Hmm. Hmm. One of them mysteriously disappeared. And then, uh, they all just kind of started doing their job. You know, this place is such a mess. I feel like we, we need to start, you know, getting a storage system, uh, prettying things up just in general. I, I think I think we should do that instead of uh, dealing with the weather. I feel like that would be a good idea. Okay, fine. Okay. Well, I guess I have to do it. I've set my spawn up here at the top of the stairs, both so that if I die, I'm a little bit closer, but also so that if it's night, because the sun's just going down, but if it's still night... Uh, when I finish this fight, gosh, I'm so not ready for this. I will be able to sleep and not worry about it. Anyways, I have dug down this way. And this is eventually going to be the home of our mine. But, for now, we're going to dig a tunnel. And we'll put the wither at the very end of it. So, I've seen people fight the wither lots of different ways, right? Um, and... Oh, gosh. Oops. So, I've 
seen people fight the wither lots of different ways, right? And I uh, tend to play it very, very safe, right? Um, and I definitely thought about using iron golems, but that feels a little bit, that feels a little bit cheaty for my first time, right? So I think we're just gonna do the old dig a tunnel, put him at the end, and have him dig out a bit of a mine shaft for us. I believe one of the important things for this particular method is to get him down to where he's in like melee distance, and then he'll like come after you and follow you and keep digging things. I think that's how that works anyways. Okay, my friends, I think we're going to put him right here. There's no use putting extra torches around, but we'll put those there. Gosh, I'm so not ready for this. I'll take the torches out of my hand because that's just going to cause extra problems. You know, I didn't think about if I should have a shield or not, but... Uh, okay. Okay. Let's try that again. Maybe he shouldn't be down in the... Oh, I betcha what it is. Is he shouldn't be, like... These shouldn't be touching anything. Kind of like the iron golems. Like, only... only The only thing that can touch... Something. Can we do it here, maybe? Okay, and then, do, okay. We back up, because he's going to explode. That's going to be a problem for me. Okay. Okay, and I think that's, yep, that's this level now. Okay, when we go bam. Okay, bam. Okay, come on. And hit him again. Okay, I'm doing okay. Doing okay. Come on, bro. Come with me. Okay. Come on. Okay. I'm shaking so bad, but I actually haven't even gotten hit by him yet. Which is kind of cool, not gonna lie. Come on, man. Come follow me. Come on, bro. Come on. Come on, man. Okay, we're so close. The next hit, I think, is going to get him. Oh. One more hit. There we go. And we got another star. And look at this carnage. <laughs> Guys, I did it. That was uh, easier than than I was expecting. And we have a pretty decent little path here now. But now we've got another star, and it's gorgeous. Honestly, I'm a little sad that, like, the use for these is to craft them into something else. Because they're so pretty the way they are. Now, here's the thing, guys. I don't actually know, like, 
what a great use for a beacon would be because they have such a small range. I guess for like digging out just an open area, which to be fair, we could totally go ahead and use some sort of like underground open area. Um, though we do have a good cave system under us here already. My other thought is, you know, for things like taking down hills where um, I'm probably gonna have to take a bunch of this down. So that's probably where we're gonna use it. And the moment we've all been waiting for. Oh, <gasps> yes. And then I believe if we, cause we want haste and then we can do haste two. And then we give it one iron ingot. Okay, okay, cool. <laughs> and now we have haste. Let's uh, just take a quick gander at what this feels. Oh gosh. Oh, that's fun. Okay, okay. Well, <gasps> we've got this all going. And so the reason we wanna take down this hill is because this is where we're gonna build our house. Which means I have some materials to get together. <laughs> I will go grab those, and then I will see you in a little bit when we come take down this hill. Not gonna lie, I think this is my best build yet. I really love the palette that I put together and yeah, I'm so happy with this. I think it fits really well with kind of the theming of our farm area here out in the savannah. And if you come at it from the village, we'll put in a path of course, but when you come over from the village, it looks awesome too. And I'm just super, super happy with this. Obviously there's some like terraforming things that still need to happen. Um, but other than, but the, yeah, the exterior of the actual build is finished and we're continuing to add things in. We've got a little pond here and yeah, we'll replace most of this stone back with grass. Maybe put in a little water feature on the back too. I don't know. Oh, and it looks so gorgeous at night. Ah, yes, I love this. The interior, of course, has lots of work to be done. There's plenty of space around it. But upstairs here, we have a little loft balcony area. And that's where my bed is now. And doop, and bookshelves, all for me. Well, I think that this is looking a little bit more homey and happy and filled. So is it finished? No, there's still a lot more interior work to do, but I am happy with where this is going anyways. <laughs> you guys, I've just discovered a wonderful new world. Apparently, you can combine dyes. So that's what it looks like with magenta. That's what it looks like with pink. And if we combine them, we get this instead. Oh, I love this. But now I think it's time for Owl. A little bit more adventure. 
Now, here's the thing. When we were blowing up this area, we encountered a mine shaft and I marked it with this fence. But it seems to have suddenly disappeared. Aha, here it is, goodness. Gosh. Why are there so many creepers? That's not cool. Okay. As always, my nemesis is the creeper. <gasps> Guys, this is just in the... It's just over in our cave a little bit. Now, this seems to just be one little area that circles back into itself. Ah, there's more here, though. Okay. I've taken out your much taller, scarier counterparts now. Not scared of you anymore. You know, I've never collected actual cobwebs before. I've only ever collected the string from them. I'm going to try mining through this wall and seeing if it goes anywhere, but to be honest, I don't have a lot of hope at this point. Oh, well. Okay. That was helpful. Well, this was also a bit of a disappointment, just like that mine shaft in Vervain's Arcadia. What was that sound? For how scary they are, and how much courage it takes for me to muster to be able to actually, like, come in to a mine shaft. They don't do me much good, do they? It's quite annoying, really. I'm guessing that the mine shaft is basically like right under the mountain there. Because then it comes out into our big old cave. And I'm very curious as to how that all looks, you know? Is that another cat? Another of the gray cats? Oh my goodness. Get off the cake, you silly cat. Come sit on the piano. Come on. Come on. Why don't you follow me with the fish? Come on, sweetheart. Oh my goodness. It's ridiculous. Cat wrangling really shouldn't be this hard, right? But they are cats, I suppose. Well, we do still have a lot left to do for... This area around here and to get going, I'm trying to, you know, get built up for a project that I'm super, super excited about. Um, I, I've been excited about all of the projects so far, but I've, I've had this project, this goal in mind for so long. But this is looking great. I am loving this house. And I think in the next episode... I will do some cleaning up and sorting and just like laying out of things to get us going for the next project. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, as always, do leave a like and comment and consider subscribing if you're not already. I will see you around for the next one.